Hi Aries and welcome to your reading. Welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. Now let's see what we can get for you guys for this reading. And the animal card's going to be talking to you today. The right of are the ones that have been wanting to chat the most. So what can we get for the beautiful Aries? What cards want to come out and talk to Aries today? Here we have oh quite a few cards and justice. Okay, we have the six of swords and the four of wands and the justice card. So we had three cards just pop out immediately for you guys, Aries. Now the four of wands and the six of swords, this is all around building solid foundations, especially around family. And it's also around moving to a much better headspace, a happier place, calmer waters, clarity. There's relocation here. There's travel. There's a happy home and happy life. And balance coming in, it's restoring, with justice coming in, sorry, it's restoring balance. And that's been kind of a major theme that's been happening throughout all signs. It's really uncanny what's been happening, actually, Aries. And truth and balance is coming back into your life. So I feel like, you know, the, this could mean family holidays. It could mean a family a family get-together. It could just be some nice time spending with people that you love. But this, this Six of Swords has turned their back on a situation and they're moving towards that calm, clear headspace where they can finally have the space to think clearly and find with that justice card the clarity that you've been searching for. And because you're trying to find a way to create this four of wands, to create this solid foundation, you're trying to find a way to build something from the Something, so this is something that in terms of your career, it's like you've put in a lot of hard work and this four of wands is like trying to find something that will sustain you and your family, that will provide for you, that will, and it, it's creating, it's something solidifying in your life, an idea, a job, there's more money, there's, there's stability coming here. So... For some of you, if you haven't been paid enough or if you've been under-resourced or you've just been struggling with something, there's balance being brought in in terms of stress and worry and in terms of uh, in terms of feeling kind of happy and solid where you're at at the moment and being able to provide some stability for the situation, your family or just your home life, whatever that means. For you, Aries, it's it's going to be different for all of you. So, yeah, no more juggling. No more juggling here. The two of pentacles. This can be, you know, working a second job or juggling money because there hasn't been enough or just your energies have been in two different places. And so you kind of just feel like you're torn. And this sort of energy can tend to deplete you. It can be quite stressful. It can create worry. And that's why I feel like this is really here supporting this six of swords this is what we're leaving and we can see interestingly in this two of pentacles here is the choppy water it's quite been quite a journey quite an emotional journey quite uh, anxiety provoking but we're leaving that water and that's because this this character is actually the one steering the ship and the person that has found the clarity and been able to move beyond that two of pentacles so all that sort of struggle around energy money having to work a lot or just having your money your you know maybe working too much or not having enough time for your family or whatever it is a lot of activities now's the time to sort of look at what you've created to take a step back and go oh, okay I've worked really hard and this is what I've made that seven of pentacles you know in terms of my career or money or where I'm at 
And I do have that one pentacle that's just there. It's taking a pause to assess where you've been and where you want to get to and where this is all about investments and finding reward for investments, where you're going to invest your time and your energy and your money so that it's actually going to have a positive effect rather than that two of pentacles where you just feel like you're being drained or dragged from one one thing to another and it's sort of distracting and taking uh, sort of unfocused so this seven of pentacles is is giving you opportunity now to actually to really now that you've moved beyond that six of moving into that six of swords energy it's it's really yeah making a decision about what is going to be good for you and your family and making a good decision I can see here Aries a taking stock of of where things are at the moment and oh because we have this page of pentacles you know there's an opportunity here coming through to for you and there'll be news of this opportunity there'll be messages you'll receive information about it and once you have this in your hand you're going to feel like okay this is the pentacle that this little fella here this final pentacle where am I going to plant this so it's going to have this long reaching effect in my life and so this page of pentacles is is it's going to be a sense of wonder and excitement about this because that's what it's sort of here with this justice card and the justice is also a Libra card. You might be working with a Libra or this opportunity might be around a Libra, but it's bringing the balance back into, I feel like it's bringing some joy back into your life or bringing uh, sort of the feeling of positive optimism towards your future or in terms of career and money anyway. So this justice card and this Libra energy is going to be have a really positive effect on you. So if you... This could be someone offering you a job, even with this page of pentacles, or offering some sort of opportunity, opportunity. But the, this Libra energy or this justice energy, it's also, it could be contracts. So yeah, again, it could be new jobs, but new business partnerships, like I said. I feel like whoever this Libra is, very, very positive. Oh, oops, sorry, it's falling completely fallen down these pentacles and here we have the opportunity again that everybody's holding the ace of pentacles this is something new that's coming in that's going to open up a new path for you and it's it's like a divinely uh, a divine blessing this opportunity it's being divinely presented to you and so once you receive it you're kind of going to be like what am I going to do with it and so that's sort of where the position that you're at at the moment. And you can see that it's going to restore balance. You can see that it's going to bring in, like I said, more money, more opportunities. And so it's really a really beautiful opportunity that's coming through here for you guys, Aries. Really powerful. So something new, a new idea, a new business venture, a new job offer. It could actually be, like I said, traveling for a job, a job, or it could actually be, I'm getting travel or different countries, so trade with different countries or something online that can, that news can travel, that news can travel fast. It can, it's something on the internet or the web that has far reaching opportunities that it's around the marketing and the message as well of of what's going on for this business opportunity there will be real clarity with that how to present this what else can we get for aries what else can we get maybe the animals want to come out and have a chat to aries today animal cards what else can we get? Sometimes we just have to get to the right card. Oh, that's funny because this lion, I saw that at the very start of the reading and I thought, oh, the lion, that's like a real Leo energy and it's a real complimentary fire energy because the upward pointing 
triangle is the alchemical sign for fire. It's a really complementary energy for Aries. And it's around leadership, taking leadership and taking a vision, a far-reaching vision and really owning it, Aries. Being the creative leader here, being the one that you can see the lion is looking out. You can see the lion is the regal, it's that real beautiful sort of Leo fire energy of, yeah, I just get taking ownership and being the leader. So if this is your vision, run with it because I feel like that's what's going to help create this beautiful foundation and whether you're the boss at work or want to be the boss or creating your own business or you're just the one that has the vision of how to make things better for your family, it's about trusting that. And there's a real dignity to this. It's real self-respect and self-belief in your vision. So it's beautiful energy, Aries, really beautiful energy. It could also represent a Leo in your life, another fire sign that... Uh, that you could be wanting to go into business with. You could be wanting to, it could be a partnership, could be your partner. It could be someone that is actually helping you build foundations. So really, really positive energy around you. And the Leo, there's clarity with this lion energy. They, they just come in and know exactly what to do. I can feel them staring, interestingly, I'll just, got the raccoon and the dragonfly but the leo i'll just put that there for one second while i talk about this you can see the leo is almost staring down this two of pentacles with dismiss like dismissing it like oh why would you be doing that why are you juggling let's get rid of that let's clear things up and make things work shall we it's a real getting in energy and just making things happen and getting rid of stuff that's not working for you so really really positive and then at the bottom of this, we have the raccoon energy and the dragonfly energy coming in. Beautiful earth energy with the raccoon, the downward pointing triangle with the line through it. And the upward pointing triangle, the dragonfly in these, that's the element of air with the line through it. These are almost, it's, it's air and earth. And it's, interestingly, these two seem like polar opposite energies here that are being created with this four and this lion. And it's like bringing together divisions or bringing together polarities. These could be two people that, that you're trying to bring into this vision. There's black and there's the darkness of the raccoon, sort of a reclusive, artistic, wanting to hide, not wanting to reveal themselves energy. And the dragonfly, someone flitting on the water, emotional but not necessarily ready to commit. They're black and white, these two energies. This could actually be, you know, your partnership. It's saying that I feel like there's some convincing to get these guys on board with you whoever these guys, these partners or people are in your life. One of them, the raccoon, is not necessarily showing exactly how they're feeling about it, but they seem interested and the dragonfly is just distracted. They're kind of just too busy flitting around, their minds everywhere to actually focus in. You need to grab their attention. With the raccoon, you need to convince them and make sure let them know it's safe. With the dragonfly, you need to grab their attention and get them to listen to what it is that you're saying. And so I feel like with these two personalities, they've come up, these could even be children <laughs> for some reason or members of your family that are not taking this seriously. But I feel like there's this sense of convincing these two elements or these people. I feel like they're, I don't feel like this is you, Aries. This feels like other people, whether they're business partners or people who are working for you and previously just kind of don't get the gravity of the idea of what you're presenting. You've got this vision and they kind of don't really see it themselves. They're not on board yet. And so I feel like there's a few people you need to convince. And this could be part of the marketing that we were seeing. There was a, getting the message out there. It's how to communicate this. And so this is getting people to work with you, but also getting people in the ether to actually understand and to get on board with this. So it's finding ways to convince these people. Exactly. And so what I get is 
very strong getting attention, getting them to focus and very much convincing them that this is this is solid, this is valid, this is good. This is this is the real thing. So that sort of seems to be an important message that's coming out for whatever reason Aries that's coming through for that. So let's just pull one last card for Aries just as a final spirit message card. So what can we get for you Aries? All right, okay. I thought this was actually going to be the card that came out. It flicked out before. So we have the eagle card, which is basically saying this is um, this is actually really high vibrational. This is your soul or spirit guiding you to do this. This is destined. This is something that the eagle receives messages from spirit, from the higher, uh, from the divine, and they bring this down to the earth. They see very clear. They're the, they're, they they are the clearest seeing birds they can see from a very long distance they're thinking long term and they can actually see something from a long distance pinpoint it and go straight directionally for that and that's part of what this is for you Aries I feel like you are the visionary and this is being this is a real soul divinely guided soul driven journey that you're on at the moment and you just know what you're doing you just know what this is and so it just there's a real sense of karma and destiny around this that this is the right path for you and that you're actually creating something that you should be this is soul purpose kind of energy this card it's beautiful beautiful so there's real clarity and wisdom coming through with that eagle eagle message so I hope that makes sense for some of you guys, Aries. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye. Take care.